I'm here at Friday Harbor in the San Juan Islands. This is a beautiful little location. It's the only incorporated town in all of the San Juan Islands in the Puget Sound. Right behind me is the ferry location where this is how you access the island unless you happen to have access to an airplane or a helicopter unless you've got that. The rest of us take your car on this massive ferry that piles in just, I don't know, 100 plus vehicles and tractor trailers and lorries and all sorts of things and you come to this location, you drive off and you access Friday Harbor. Now, incorporated uh, just in the turn of the century in the 1900s and originally established in the 1840s by the Hudson Bay Company, this little location started out as a classic Puget Sound Island where they had some growing of cherries and pears and other agricultural products plus uh, some sheep and maybe a few cows, but not a lot was going on. As expected with the Great Depression, things really started to get pretty rough here for people, but just like all across America with the competition and you know the market going down and all that uh, sad rough stuff that happened in the 30s. So this area kind of languished a little bit and not a lot was happening but then the Washington State Ferries came in. That was a huge thing. This is actually operated by the state of Washington so it's you know government official of operation but it's highly efficient. You get from A to B no problem. I came out of Ana Cortez to get to here so that is uh, pretty handy. But eventually, the area of the San Juan Islands started to grow and become popular for tourism, but also for vacationers and retirees, because this is a really nice place to get away from it all. It's very calm. The Friday Harbor area in 2010 had about 2,100 people living here, and the estimates in 2019 and 2020 say there were about 2,500 people that live here. So year or decade over decade, something like a 15 percent to 20 percent growth. Now all those demographics and boring things aside, this is really a nice location. Now I've definitely been blessed and lucked out here because the weather is very calm. There's a slight breeze, but as you can see behind me, the water is quite calm. Compared to that to when I came into the ferry here last night, I mean it was blasting, raining, sheeting, the, the ferry, my truck was on the very nose of the ferry and just, or not on the nose, but on the very front line and just covering my truck in salt water, so I need to make sure to wash that off, but it was a pretty exciting ride over here, which is pretty nice. Now, that is the huge thing here is, you can see over there, there is a whale watching and kayak rental place. There is a cheesecake cafe and bakery, and all of a sudden, from the uh, late 90s into the 2000s, 2010s, and now the 2020s, things have really started to kick off for this place in that the tourism and the retirement culture is totally blown up here. It is a uh, operation to get to, shall we say. Some might say it's a pain but it actually discourages people from just piling in from the Seattle area. You have to take a ferry over, so it is a bit of a production. So it does protect the area from too much growth. There's never a way to get from uh, get away from growth, especially with you know modern technologies. Uh, nice thing here is your smartphone and cell phone definitely work. There's actually really good cell phone signal here. Some interesting attractions in this area is there is a small, I wouldn't say it's a mountain, but a large hill. It's about a two mile round trip hike to come up to the high viewpoint of the island and really get a good view of the locations in here and the beauty. There's also a popular lighthouse at the uh, the Cattle Harbor or the Cattle Point area. This uh, end of the island literally just terminates at this location, it swirls around. You can see a lot of the other islands here. Pretty spectacular viewpoint and uh, it's definitely dangerous waters. You don't want to be out there with the logs and everything, but if you do have the chance at Kettle Point Lighthouse, it's uh, worth a pop in. The nice part about this National Monument, I didn't see fees or anything, you just pretty much drive through. Do be prepared, uh, my fingers are cold, I'm starting to have trouble speaking, but it's really chilly, so I've heard that there are llamas, alpacas. One fun option to visit is Crystal Acres on the opposite side of the island of Friday Harbor. This is a really fun place because they have this very gentle alpacas here. They have a neat little store that you can go in and visit. These gentle animals are uh, pretty fun to watch. That alpaca is a really fine 
uh, shearing type of wool or fur that is used in super fine gloves and hats and scarves and sweaters. So if you've got the time and inclination to come out and visit these gentle animals, it's a really fun drive. It's, I think it was like a 12 minute drive from Friday Harbor. It was super, super quick. So if you've got a vehicle, you definitely want to drive around and check out this island. And the Crystal Lakers is one of the opportunities for you to enjoy. If you have the time when touring San Juan Island, definitely get over to the west side where you, know, you might get a little bit moistened, but the Lime Kiln Lighthouse is really a beautiful location as you can see behind me here. It's definitely an accessible ocean, but this direction is really pretty. It's kind of a rocky Oregon, Washington, uh, Northern California coastline, so definitely pretty enjoyable. You can see the seagulls flying right by here. It's uh, worth uh, worthwhile to go check out. Also, over here, in that little display kiosk, is a hydrophone. That's an underwater microphone that if the orcas or whales happen to be going by, that microphone will actually pick up that sound. And you can hear what the sound of the orcas and the whales going by sound like. So definitely some opportunities. This isn't a state park, so you do have to pay an access fee something to consider when you're coming to these areas but if you're so inclined it's a real pretty classic little lighthouse well worth the while on this particular trip to san juan island i'm staying at the tucker house and ended up in jenny's cottage this cute little um cottage really <laughs> this thing's almost like a modern cabin sort of thing it's got seafaring stainless cabinets uh, it's a really neat little place it's dark outside but I'll be able to show you around tomorrow. Hopefully it's not sheeting rain. The weather forecast is kind of sketchy, but that's how it is in the San Juan Highlands. The harbor tours, the fishing, there are lots of kids activities. I mean, it's really just a fun area to come and check out. And that's why I came over here. It's just to experience something different in Washington State. I mean, Seattle, Bellevue, they're super nice, but there's nothing like the islands and the Puget Sound, especially at Friday Harbor on San Juan Island. This is a really big island and it gives you a chance to get around. It's, uh, I wouldn't say, uh, more incorporated and it's the only incorporated town compared to Orcas Island, but, you know, there's enough here for you to do. There are plenty of eateries, the, the Blue Water, uh, Friday's Carousel, Rooftop Bar, lots of opportunities for you to enjoy food, coffee shops, and all the things that you would expect but the nice thing here is I haven't seen any of the big corporate names. If you actually want to get away from that and try something totally different and unique, Friday Harbor is definitely a place to come and tourist around. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a professional traveler and polar explorer, oddly enough. Check out my links below to my video and film series on World Beyond, available on Amazon Prime. Check out all the links below to my products and tourism and Antarctic Tears and everything else I have. The links below, just drop down, check out the description, and you can enjoy that. I hope you've enjoyed my tour of Friday Harbor in the Puget Sound on San Juan Island. Thank you very much and enjoy your travel.